Hi everyone, in this uh, video we are going to talk about how you can improve the city geolocation within uh, Matomo Analytics. Um, so I already made some videos in which I was explaining that by default Matomo is not going to match it with uh, an IP address, it's going to take the browser language. Then um, you have uh, another possibility which is of course to use uh, the IP uh, addresses and match it with a database. And in fact, I did not read properly, but there are in fact uh, two databases. So there are one which is uh, the following one, which is the DBIP, and there's another one which is uh, the MAX9 one. If you are taking the DBIP, which consists in downloading a file, which is about 100 megabytes, and putting it within the MISC uh, folder, uh, you may experience that the geolocation is not that accurate. So, for example, in my case, when I'm using this given um, IP, uh, this given um, IP database, um, I'm located over here in Paris, whereas I'm physically located uh, over here next to Nantes. So, as you can see, uh, the city geolocation is not um, is not good at all. Um, and I was surprised to see that when I was using the Matomo cloud, so matomo.cloud, um, I had the uh, geolocation right, so putting me exactly uh, where I am. And uh, I couldn't understand uh, where the issue was. And the issue was that I was not using the MaxMind database. And the reason why Matomo is not like uh, advertising or promoting a lot the MaxMind database is that the MaxMind database is subject uh, to a contract license term that you can uh, read uh, over here, uh, which of course is a bit uh, restrictive. Um, I didn't read any things which are super wrong. It's just that it's um, somehow it's a um, copyrighted uh, database. It's still available for free, but you get somehow some obligation. Uh, so of course, if you do something bad with uh, the database, um, they have the right to uh, go against you, that, that kind of thing. So, so you need to read just this uh, this user terms uh, license if you want to use the MaxMind database. And if you agree with it, so in my case, I agree with it because my, to me, I don't identify anything which is, which is super wrong. Uh, it's just that we cannot say that by using it, the whole bunch uh, software of Matomo will be considered as a free software because this one is, it's of course, is, is restricted. As you can see, uh, when you use it, you are somehow signing out a condition of use with a third party uh, provider. Uh, but to me, uh, this is justified because the geolocation will be more accurate. The issue that I faced is that if in the past I installed uh, the DBIP database, I don't have like an easy way to switch from one to the other. So what I did to do, what I needed to do is that I needed to delete on the MISC repository this given database that I had. And then I needed to go on uh, the MaxMind website, uh, create an account, get a license. Uh, um, it's a free license, but get a token. And once I got my token, I just copy and paste it over here. Uh, so it's over here um, at the end of the, the URL. So it's well explained by Matmo. And then I could click on save. And when I did that, I got like a progress bar showing me that it was downloading the database from the MaxMind server. And then straight away, I got my uh, geolocation, city geolocation. Okay, so this is what I suggest that you should do if you would like to have a good uh, city geolocation. Um, because most of the time, my clients are asking kind of the same accuracy as the one in, in Google Analytics. And that's typically what you can achieve with the MaxMind one, not with the DBIP one. So my piece of advice would be, okay, go on the MaxMind website, create an account, get your license key, and then put it over here. And of course, if uh, you are doing it for one of your clients, it's uh, better to show them the end user license uh, agreement in order to see if they agree uh, with it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.